My new five-way phenom build is insane on NBA 2K24. I am undefeated on my first day of 2K24 on this game using this build. This build gets contact dunks, crazy dribble moves, it can break ankles, it shoots insanely well, plays great defense, and it's also the tallest and longest build in the game that can get gold speed booster. So subscribe to the channel right now, drop a like for more 2K24 videos, and let's get into the video. What is good? YouTube, it's your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger, man. And make sure to drop a like for this build because y'all been asking for it like crazy, so I'm gonna give it to you. Now, if this build doesn't fit your needs or wants, you can adjust it a little bit, but this build is for me, okay? This is what I like to call my five way phenom build. That's what I'm gonna be calling it for 2K24. Uh, so yeah. It's the build I started off with. I'm undefeated with this build. I'm shooting insane with this build. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Like, no egos. I think I'm the best shooter on this game with the, 80, with the, the lower three uh, pointers. Out of the lower three pointer builds, like 85 and below, I don't see anyone shooting better than me. Than me. Like, this build is crazy. Drop a like for the jump shot. Uh, but once again, yeah, if you, there's something that you don't like about the build, you can change it. We're going to be showing gameplay for everything as well. So I went point guard. I went left handed. It's up to you what hand you want to go point guard now you can go whatever position you want okay if you want to make a shooting guard a small forward i don't care it doesn't matter you can do that but i want to be a point guard i'm not really playing fives i'm a twos player this build is for the twos okay so i'm gonna be point guard because i'm gonna be running the one i'm gonna be the main ball handler okay we're going six six because this is the tallest height you can get gold speed booster at and i want to be able to dribble fast on a taller build minimum weight because i want the highest speeds acceleration whatever you can get i don't i'm not going for strength on this build okay wingspan max wingspan a lot of people aren't going to go max wingspan this build or this year because it affects your shooting a lot but i don't need a high three-pointer to shoot in this game and i can confirm that y'all will see in the gameplay y'all probably already seen in the other gameplays but yeah y'all been asking for this build like crazy so make sure you are subscribed this is for all the this video is for all the people that have been asking for the build okay uh but anyways let's get into the stats okay we're gonna start with the finishing stats now obviously there's gonna be holes in every build this is 2k24 if you haven't been in the builder then you don't know yet but if you have been in the builder you know there's gonna be things that are bad about your build that's how every build is gonna go in 2k24 so we're gonna start with a 90 driving dunk this is gonna give us gold precision dunker which allows us to green our dunk meter dunks more and yeah dunk meters are green or miss this year okay it's also gonna give us silver post riser we just haven't upgraded the strength yet okay so just wait a second hall of fame spin cycle hall of fame two-step yeah we get contact dunks as well we get a lot of contact animations and contact dunk packages with this 90 driving dunk so yeah it's pretty solid we're gonna put the layup plus two because we got extra attributes to the end giving us a 72 driving layup a 52 close shot and a 35 standing dunk i still get standing dunks okay we're gonna show gameplay in a second i still get standing dunks with a 35 standing dunk you don't need post control you're not a post score driving layup if you think this layup is a little too low you can upgrade it but i'm about to show you some clips with the layup going crazy close shot if you're wide open under the paint, you're going to make it, right? And contested close shots don't go in regardless unless you're 7'3". So as you can see, the driving is very good on this build. I can make layups. Look at scoop layup. He's right on my hip. It doesn't matter. 9%. I'm making that. You just have to time it. I'm getting standing dunks on this build too with a 35 standing dunk. Keep in mind, all this gameplay you're seeing, no matter when you're watching this video, is from day one of 2K24. Actually, day zero because this is like New Zealand. Uh, you see, I missed that dunker there, but I didn't even use the dunk meter. And I was getting contact dunk animations, which is a great sign, okay? So you can get contact dunks even without using the dunk meter, right? Going to the basket again. Look at that. I put this dude on the ground. No dunk meter right there. This build is crazy. And in, look at I get in, the dunk meter is hard to time, though. You see, I mistimed it, but I'm still getting contact dunk animations, right? The spin cycle moves are really good. Look at the layups, bro. I'm telling you in these clips. I don't even have my layup upgraded, by the way. I have a 52 layup in these clips, so I'm going to get it to a 72 layup. OK, you do get standing dunks. Once again, 35 standing dunk. So if you're worried about the standing dunk being low on this build for whatever reason, you're worried about the driving layup being a little low on this for whatever reason, I'm telling you, it's not as a big deal as you think. I mean, if you really do are worried about it, then go ahead, upgrade it. Once again, close shots too. If you're running to the basket with any build that's like shorter than 6'11", and someone's right there, you're not going to make it regardless in 2K24. That's just how it works. So upgrading a close shot on a guard, 
I, I don't think it's worth it. There's too much other important stats in the builder that are just more important, right? Yeah, the driving on this build really good. You see behind the back to the basket. You get some fast dunk packages with this build too. You get LeBron James dunk package. I got some cradle dunks on too. The spin cycle goes crazy too. I think I only have silver or maybe gold spin cycle right now. Most of these clips I have probably have it on bronze. But yeah, we get a Hall of Fame. It's going to be crazy. But look at We get that standing lap. Anytime someone jumps and then just go up immediately because it just counts as an open layout which is a huge w without the paint even works you see another contact dunk throwing this dude to the floor look at how aggressive that contact dunk was the dunk meter when you are wide open too as you can see the green window is massive for that and yeah you get some nice scoop layups all that stuff but anyways moving on to the shooting now i was gonna go with a 78 three-pointer y'all saw my community day videos but i had some extra attributes and even though I don't get any extra bad is really going with this, except silver blinders, I went with an 81 three-pointer. That a lot of people were questioning this, like, it's going to be too low, double A, so you're not going to be able to shoot with this, bro. Or I'm not going to be able to shoot with 81 three. Are you sure about that? Like, I was getting a ton of comments on my pre-2K24 videos talking about the three-point rating. And some people laughing about it, too. Anyways, I also went to a 72 mid-range for that silver uh silver midi magician and yeah so we have a midi i have a 56 free throw as well these are the shooting badges you get you know silver catch and shoot silver green machine silver space critter you get bronze dead eye gold comeback kid silver guard up which actually works this year it's actually a good badge silver open looks we have a 58 free throw or whatever if you want to upgrade that go ahead and upgrade it okay if you play fives yes upgrade it i'm a twos player i don't need to upgrade my free throw because i won't be shooting free throws and when i do play rec I don't really care about the free throw. I'm not going to spend it on that build because I'm not going to mainly be in the wreck. Okay. So if you want to upgrade that, go ahead and upgrade it. Maybe take down the layup minus two or something, whatever. But the shooting's insane on this build. Look at behind half court. Now, a lot of these clips are with takeover, but go watch the stream. My first day stream. Go watch the last two videos. This build shoots very good. No takeover or with takeover. Okay. This build is crazy from the three point line. Now, I don't know if it's because of my jump shot, which drop a leg if you want it, or if I'm just good at the game, but an 81-3 is good enough if you are good at the game. Look at, I'm shooting blinder shots, 8%. I'm shooting over people's heads. I'm shooting from deep. I'm fading from the corner. I can shoot with this build. I don't even have a mid-range yet. Wait until I upgrade my mid-range because I'm only like an 88 overall. Wait until, I, look at, I accidentally fade right here and I still grind it. I'm looking different with this build, y'all. I'm actually looking different. Look at, we got physicals takeover right here. And I'm just like, screw it. I'm just going to shoot over this kid. And I shoot over him. <laughs> like, this build can get very disrespectful. I found myself three hunting with this build. Like, when I'm on offense, you probably think, oh, he has a 90 driving dunk. His first option is to drive. No, I'm three hunting with this build on day one of NBA 2K24. And I only have a 40 mid-range right now, too. So wait until I actually get a mid-range where I can, like, maybe start fading some middies or taking those mid-range pull-up jump shots. Then it's really going to be looking different out here. It's just going to make my build scoring at all three levels just even easier and it's just gonna make me harder to guard right but yeah you can shoot very good with this three so if you are questioning the three-point rating or the mid-range rating on this build then it's a skill issue look at look at what i'm doing it's a skill issue if you can't shoot with these with these ratings okay now if you want to put these ratings up go ahead if you there's some badges you want to go okay adjust the build to your liking but on to the playmaking okay now i risked it i was i was gonna go with a 75 pass accuracy but you only get Sabonis and Ja Morant pass styles with 75. So I was like, are those really going to be that good? I don't know. Now, I'm a twos player. This is a point guard build. If you play fives, yes, you need a higher pass accuracy. So make it higher. But I'm a twos player. So 70 pass accuracy is going to be good enough for me. We're going to go 92 ball handle because that's going to help us get that gold speed booster. And it's going to unlock every drill move of the game that we can get at the 6'6 height. Okay speed with ball is going to go to an 83 now most of these clips that i've gotten i haven't even played with a 92 ball handle yet i've only played like an 85 87 so we're about to go even crazier i haven't played with gold speed booster yet either uh which is another good thing about this build but yeah this build can dribble okay i haven't even figured out dribbling yet it's it's literally day zero of the all these clips are like day zero of the game i have not figured out dribbling yet but this build is this is going to be the fastest build you can make at this height obviously uh, the fastest build at a taller height as well. 
the fastest build you like taller kind of point guard build you can really make okay but i can tell the dribbling is good this year i've seen what other people have done and even though i haven't personally figured out the dribbling too much yet i know it's gonna be crazy like i'm already getting open pretty easily on this game and i wouldn't classify or at least personally i wouldn't classify myself as like oh i'm i'm going crazy with the dribbling like but you can break ankles as well like this build really can go crazy and i only have bronze ankle breaker this build gets gold ankle breaker so i'm telling you y'all and it unlocks so many drill moves that and some of them i haven't even tested out yet because i don't have the 92 ball handle yet uh but yeah i'm telling you man i i, I do not regret anything about what i upgraded in playmaking yes now once again if you're in fives yes you need to upgrade the pass accuracy, but this boot builds speed boost animations. All the animations that it's getting, it's looking good. It, the 92 ball handle and the 83 speed ball is looking good. On to the defense. I decided to upgrade my interior defense, right? And we went to a 71. That doesn't give us any extra baddies, but we did it purely for the rating. And you're going to see there's definitely some question marks in the defense, but I'm going to show you a ton of clips on why I actually don't regret anything I do with any of these stats really but uh, especially the defensive stats right so 71 interior defense okay perimeter defense we're gonna go to a 87 so we can get silver clamps we just have to upgrade the strength still uh steel we're gonna go 85 steel which is gonna give us silver in every steel badge i love this i actually get good pluck animations i don't see a lot of people doing that especially to me when i'm dribbling the ball but i'm gonna get pluck animations now you don't get anchor on any build 6-6 six, six or lower regardless of your block rating and the block was expensive so i wasn't really going to get any extra bad as upgrading it so i left it at a 31 so my build doesn't be blocking anything rebounding 42 defensive rebound i i don't have rebounding bad is right so that's definitely going to be something i can see y'all complaining about oh where's the block where's the rebound there's going to be holes in your build y'all and i don't have either of these things but what i will tell you is i'm a twos player okay and i actually like how i don't have any block and I like how I saved other for other attributes with no rebound. Because guess what? I still get rebounds. Because no other guard I'm matching up with on threes or twos is upgrading their rebound. And I have max wingspan and I'm 6'6". Six, six, so I'm getting the rebounds regardless. Not only that, this build, okay, is getting good contests in the paint. It's stopping people in the paint. And it makes me better at defense because I'm, I'm not clicking Y in the paint because I know I can't block. So I'm actually playing better defense because I know I don't have a block rating and I'm getting great contests and I'm forcing it stuff. Now you're sitting th these clips. I'm getting rebounds. I'm getting steals. I'm getting plucks. I'm getting lanes. I'm getting good contests in the paint. And I don't even have really any of my defensive bat is past bronze right now. All of them are bronze. Look at that contest I just got with a 71 interior behind him. That's insane, y'all. I'm getting good defense with this build. I really feel like the block makes me a better defender because if i had a block i would definitely be jumping and in in 2k24 if you jump and they wait for you and then go up it's an open every time no matter where you are on the court it doesn't matter so it makes me more i guess just it just makes me a better defender if that makes sense i don't know if y'all don't understand that you don't understand it but it just makes me a better defender because i'm more i'm more i'm staying on the ground i'm not jumping i'm staying on my feet right but yeah, the Bills defense is great. We want the 80 speed for silver hyperdrive, 87 acceleration for that gold speed booster. You get silver fast feet, gold triple strike, gold blow by, gold slippery off ball, and silver fast feet with those, uh, you know, stats right there with the acceleration and the speed. Now we got to go with a 50 strength for that silver clamps. That is a must. So make sure you do do that. The vertical, we got to go with a 78 to get that silver post riser, gold aerial wizard, and for those contact dunk packages. And then the stamina, you're going to go on ahead, max that out to a 96 for gold handles for days, silver fast feet, and gold workhorse. Okay, y'all. So that is the build. Okay. I like my build. I don't regret going with anything. I'm going to hover over all the bad as it gets right here. So you can look at that as well. I'm going to show you guys how to, uh, what I would do to upgrade this build to 85. And the bad is I have, you know, based off the gameplay you just saw. I like this build, y'all. I genuinely am enjoying this build. I have played now as I'm voicing this recording, I have played over 55 games with this build and there's not a single stat that I regret upgrading. Now, once again, based on your play style, you can upgrade or 
lower certain stats based on what you do because this builder is going to have holes and builds so if there's something i upgraded that you're not good at like 92 ball handle if you can't dribble lower that a little bit 90 dunk if you're not going to be spamming the dunk meter really and lower that a little bit okay and if the and then upgrade what you want to have if you think you want block you want rebound you want free throw maybe you want more driving layup maybe you want that plus two on the acceleration go ahead and do that but anyways this build name honestly i'm kind of disappointed in the build name i think people think it's cool but i've been seeing it a lot and i think you can make this build name a lot of different ways so that kind of sucks that's why i called it the five-way phenom but it's the two-way floor spacing slasher compared to tyrese halliburton lonzo ball and kenny smith that is the build uh, i'm going to show you guys the badges i have on it right now and how i would upgrade it to 85 overall but hey drop a like for me hooking y'all up with this build y'all have been spamming me for this build drop a like for the jump shot because the jump shot is coming next i know y'all want that jump shot because we have been going crazy with that jump shot i mean look at on the screen we went eight for eight six for six from three like we're cooking with this jump shot anyways you see the badges we got you start all your badges off with bronze so as soon as you make the build you're gonna get all your badges on bronze and then what you do you get the badges basically like if you shoot limitless range threes you're gonna get limitless range even though this build doesn't get limitless range you get the point like if you go for contact dunks you're gonna get posterizer anyways this is how i would upgrade the build now honestly you're only gonna get to an 85 off rip right when you make this build so i wanted to get a max three pointer i wanted to get at least some dribble moves with the playmaking so i went with the 85 ball handle uh i went with the 84 dunk that's not gonna get you contacts yet but i at least wanted the lebron dunk package I wanted to max my packet, max my pass accuracy because I don't want to be throwing like very slow passes. 85 steel just to unlock all the steals uh, badges that I can get. Max my interior defense just for the rating and 80 perimeter defense to get some good contests. And then I wanted to max like basically everything in physicals except for strength and vertical. Vertical 64 for the LeBron dunk package. And then my speed with ball as high as I could get it at an 82. So that's how I would upgrade the build to 84 overall. If this video helped you out at all, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to one mil. So many of y'all that are watching the video are not subscribed. Click the video on your screen right now for more gameplay of 2K24. It's been your boy Henry, aka Double H. And I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.